Hi, my name's Max. Today we're going to realign the satellite dish for, from ANC4 to G19. And there's a few things I need you to do. First of all, let's go to the hardware store, pick up a quarter inch bolt that's two and a half inches long, galvanized. And we're going to replace the stock bolt on the pivoting head here. What that will do for you is to stabilize the rotation of the satellite dish without changing the pitch on that. So the next thing is that you will need a 10 millimeter tool and a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, the next step I want you to do is to grab a magic marker and come over to this area here and mark it in black. You can do the center portion here or the, you can do the bottom part. You, it's your choice. Now I want you to take a measuring tape and make the marks from the location you're, location you're in 3 16 of an inch apart. Either here in the center or here in the bottom. We want to make the line <coughs> to the right of where you're at now, which will be AMC4 and we're going to G19. Now one of the instruments that uh, I recommend using is the satellite finder meters. They come in real handy. They're more sensitive than the satellite receivers. Alright, the next step is take your 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the collar on the pole mount and be ready to rotate the uh, dish. As I explained earlier, make sure that the signal finder is on your satellite. Now, ever so slightly, we're going to move the satellite over to the second mark, like so. And we're going to take your receiver and we're going to switch it over to LLBN. And we'll continue to rotate the dish until we have signal. There it is, we have 32% and we'll continue to rotate until we have the highest gain possible, 60, no, 52, yes, 60 percent is what I have right there. I'll cinch that down. All right, now that we have the rotation, we're going to concentrate on doing the elevation. That is the next step you need to do. And to do that, you go to geosatfinder.com to get your uh, elevation and rotation. Okay, now that we tighten the bolts on the clamp of the satellite, we want to adjust the elevation. And the way you do that is you look at your printout and we're going to have to adjust our elevation from 32 to 31.4. The best way to do that is to keep your satellite on the signal scan, look at your level as you loosen, loosen your bolts, hold your hand between the pole and a bracket here to support it because you may lose the signal. So you loosen it up and we look at our quality level. I'm going to turn it up. Okay, that brings it down. I'm going to bring it down slightly. There's 67, 69, 70, 74, 76, 78. Oh. 78, if I go down just a little bit more, 76, so I'll bring it up to 78 and tighten it down. Now this is where it pays off to have this bolt replaced because it stabilizes that neck. So now my elevation bolts are tightened. We have 78%. I can live with that portion. Now we'll focus on the skew of the LMB. All right, folks, the next step is to adjust the skew on the LMB. I have already loosened with my Phillips screwdriver the screws on the clamp supporting the LMB. Now, here it says that we need to get negative 16.94. So I'm going to have to go from 15 to negative 16. Negative rotation is always to the right. Positive is to the left. Depending on where you are in the United States, you follow the directions from Geosat uh, Finder and uh, do the calibration then. Okay, now, as you can see our signal right now is 75% and the reason why I'm down low is because I don't want to get in front of the satellite. Let's see what happens? Signal goes down. All right, now, ever so slightly, I will take the LMB without changing the distance. I'm just going to rotate the LMB slightly to the right until I get a higher signal. Still 78. So that's 79, just a hair more maybe. 
Ah, uh, looks like I went a little too far down. It didn't affect it all that much. So I'm gonna leave it right there because I moved it just a little bit more. That'll calibrate for any cloudy days and rainy days. All right, the next step is just to tighten down your clamp and you're done with your alignment. Easy as that. Now visit our website at www.idealsatellite-services.com.